today, as I just said, there is that display of branches, attitudes, objects, um, all grouped around, sort of a slightly looking down, uh, which is there for you to do, particularly if you think, look at what I'm, I'm going to talk about and say, I don't want to do what she's talking about. So there that is. And not only that, some beautiful flowers that Connie brought in, these beautiful lilies. That's for her birthday. For my birthday, which is not today, but Saturday. Um, so I am not going to read aloud my lengthy thing, but what it is is a, um, a preamble to landscape and um, to going out. Or I think of it as going out, not necessary landscape. Um, because less intimidating. <laughs> right. Landscape. <laughs> ah. But that is sort of what, what it's all, what I'm talking about, which is kind of intimidation. And that is, that includes people, everybody, because we're all so experienced, um, who are very, very experienced. Um, but I think that going out into particularly a, a situation that is not of your choice, you know, you may pick, I am going to couleur, is that what it is? I am going to, where, Provence? You need I mean, to go. <laughs> <laughs> and these wonderful things, um, Encore Watt, you've got over there in the corner, uh, Mr. Bruno. Um, uh, when it's your own choice, that puts you a step up in a way. But I, so I want to just um, read two tiny pieces of here in here. One is um, that when you go to a set situation, which maybe you know because you're in this class and say I pick some place arbitrarily, <laughs> uh, and you, then you think, ah, you know, what is this? Where, where? How do I get my focus? What the hell do I have to say? I I don't know what. Probably, why did you pick this place? Whatever. Um, and you tend to go through a predictable sequence of thoughts, like, what on earth is of interest to me here? There's so much green, so much foliage, scrubby plants. I don't see anything at all to focus on. It's windy, hot, cloudy, sunny, buggy. The light and shadows change. I can't find a comfortable seat. Oh, sounds so familiar. So I, I, don't, I can't imagine, anyway, I mean, I certainly have gone through this a million times. And, so there's some negative things about that, just to you know bring them up, but get them out of the way. Uh, and then I, in the next paragraph, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, but if you were, I cite two places, you know, go, to go to the main coast of the Alps or uh, that lovely <coughs> eastern shore, Lisa, <coughs> whatever, um, would it be a simpler matter to get your focus? And I say possibly it is a simpler matter because with spectacular environs, you already have a set stage. You have probably predefined your reaction, which is good and bad. I mean, your, your predefined reaction is wonderful. You may be going to back to a familiar place. Um, you, you know you have something to say, and you want to say it again and again, and you want to use that. But the little negative I would throw in there is, um, and I don't want you to think I'm just being negative today just because my birthday is coming. <laughs> um, but that, um, but predefining your, your, your reaction sometimes leaves you closed to finding something and to really finding and working out a focus. So the rest of this is about getting your focus and working um, with some uh, photographs here. Uh, and, uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. okay, um, I mentioned and we we may not we probably will discuss where we do go. I worked with some photographs from um, what is it Smith Park Fort C.F. Smith. 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 It, you probably know. Arlington? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is um, it on the river? It's near the river. It's right. not. Yeah. It's near yeah. Oh yeah. It's right off Lor right off Lorcan Lake. I've been there. Right, right, right. Uh, right. We may not go there, but I, I, I kind of. It's actually it. very pretty. The it, house also is nice. There's, there's a the house, house. Um, and one thing there is, so it got my focus, is um, some wonderful rocks. Okay, um, good. It, it's got a rock thing, and actually steps that you walk down, and that you look at these rocks and you look back. And who would think 
Ruskin had already been there, that devil. And Asher Durand, this wonderful. They came all the way to Portsmouth. Oh, who would have thought in that day, too? But anyway, Henry I put House. these up because they could well have been inspired by something just as sort of unprepossessing as this. Uh, and then they really got into their rocks and made them you know, very majestic and um, exciting and the, uh, you know, nature, 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 Ruskin, Ruskin, Ruskin. So um, that <coughs> point I just wanted to make, and uh, I include some photographs from there that you might want to do. Then let me just jump to what I did as an exercise, personally, oh, which was, gorgeous. here is the you know, I walked around thinking almost every single thing I just said, all my negatives, all, um, <laughs> oh God, it was actually a lovely day. Oh, you were there. I walked over there, I mean, not walked, I drove, but um, I went there on Sunday, um, it was a beautiful day, and, you know, just trying to, um, you know, site visit, trying to work it up to see if it was something we would, might use, and whether or not we do, I just want to <laughs> point out what I did. So I took a picture of this, and a little bit of what maybe this class, if you do this part of it, is is about, you know, how can you make something really boring, both yours and interesting? How can you take something that is basically a cement, or whatever you call that, um, sidewalk, uh, <coughs> you know, some scrubby little plants, as they talk about, some trees, some lampposts, some foliage going back. You, and my argument is you can make this work and happen by, I mean, and become an interesting painting. I'm not, this is my kind of sketch painting. Not necessarily a great painting, not necessarily a painting that I would blow up into something and work. I don't know. I mean, I, the but format is great for starters. There, oh my God, I feed the lines. That's so one, one of the things is just exactly that. I emphasized the, the format. Uh, I emphasized the pathness. And, um, and each time, all of these little steps are articulating things that make your focus, that where you I exaggerate or pick up on, however you want to think of it. Something that is compelling and a, and a road, a path, we've certainly talked about this before, is by nature compelling for the very reason that it provides a way to go to something. And it, it also frames things, but um, it also gives you a chance to do that little um, show off with perspective. And showing off with any of these things, whether it's perspective or the cragginess of rocks, which you really know how to do. Or, I mean, show off is a pejorative word, but showing what you can do, uh, playing with your skills, whatever. Um, so this um, just takes you all the way back. And you, as you start playing with this, uh, you st things uh, start supporting your <laughs> focus and your statement and you start developing your statement. And if you can get zoned enough with, you know, say deliberately taking one of the most boring photographs that you can find, um, where you think, you know, why would I want to do this? And you might not. But <laughs> challenge, yourself. Yeah. Uh, challenge yourself to Take something that you maybe don't say, oh, that is so beautiful, or, you know, it's the cutest kitty cat or something, um, that you want to say something else about. So as I started painting on this, everything started um, falling into my argument, as it were, where I, emphasizing this and really picking up on those shadows. That's the second thing. After the format, it was, hey, this is about these shadows. Shadows are another compelling thing. Um, always, they tell you things about the direction of things, where they are, where the sun is. They tell you about light, shade. They tell you about cool and warm. Um, pick up on that, and you have another little story. So all the, each thing 
that I was doing became something I became interested in because I wanted to, to continue that little story. So that is that. This is um, not my favorite at all, but another rock thing. Um, but there's some things that I think, you know, you could do all sorts of stuff with that. Um, the contrast of vegetation and roughness. Um, and as you do it, and I think this is a theme I've noticed because when I look back and read my wonderful wordy statements over again, which I am forced to do, um, I see there's a huge theme of um, just, you know, making it your own, finding your focus, finding your statement, and so you can find it wherever. Um, this is another example, different view in a different place, in a different season, um, of another, you know, using that path. I mean, you could go around looking for paths all over the place, and probably people do. You know, that's very, very compelling. It's one thing. This was, again, take a photograph, using the uh, figure in landscape. Um, who was that, remember? Eve. Eve. I want to know how she is. I called her once about two years ago. She sounded great. That she wasn't getting out much, but I don't know, but wonderful woman and artist, some of you know. What a painter. What a painter. Oh my god. Just born painting, I guess. So she had a whole different career until she got there. But anyway, so I took this photograph, I turned it upside down, and I did a sketch of, of as it turned out, Eve. Um, I, I will talk about that if anyone wants to work with these upside down things. My argument being, you get lost in it as though it were just, you were thinking of shapes and the positioning and you just put it all together. So, here's another example. Upside down, Sargent, uh, the beginning of something that I had done. Um, so, um, one of the things I noticed on the picture of me is I would never left that light. I would have gone dark and been the dumbest painting. But by leaving that light up there, you know, it just... Uh, Connie, I don't even know why I did that. I, I wanted to be able, when I saw it, I wanted to be able to say, and this is why you would... And I thought, why did I do that? And I think, I mean, I can now see what I did. I mean, but I, that, I, think, I think it just emphasized this, this, the light falling on her. And had it been dark, it would have closed it up and I think the light would have uh, done a different thing. Yeah. Or I could say I never finished it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but I don't want to say that. I want you to think that I knew just what I was doing. It was your instinct? It was my instinct, actually. And uh, all of this is working to your instincts, to your best instincts, your best uh, judgment, focus, Choices. Look at this, uh -huh. and it is very, you know, you think, okay, it's a church on the side of a building, actually a little graveyard, I think it's a Presbyterian meeting house, um, and St. Mary's Steeple. And St. Mary's Steeple, so, right, good for you, St. Mary's girl. Um, this, you know, this is a familiar thing, you know, you can justify, you can you say, oh, a steeple, and the steeple is that high, and that is that, and the ground is here. Um, painting it fr um, straight on, if you paint it like this, I'm not saying, I'm not, by the way, saying, let's all paint only from photographs or anything. I'm saying, this is to work your eye out. And what Hernan said is, um, if you turn it upside down and orient it and maybe establish it on your paper, you are going to see things so much more clearly because they have become obscured by unfamiliarity. And you will say, oh, well, that the proportions of steeple to building or whatever are X, Y, Z, because of course there's so many perspective things going on in here that change it. Here, your whole, which is it, your, which is your bad brain? The controlling one gets right in your way. I know what you're doing. That's it. Or if it were a figure, I mean, the same idea. Um, uh, if, if, you know, if you look at the sergeant and were to do the same thing, work with it, um, the, the things seen this way, you, you, got, you have so much darn knowledge 
this is how a figure is when she's lying down in some landscape. This is how this is. These are the proportions of a parasol. Da da da. You prob you could be right, and that's fine. And you would you might very well be doing that down uh, sitting you know in a landscape trying to do something similar. If you do it this way, they become shapes. They become um, things that you put together, which is what you're doing when you're right side up too in reality. But this <coughs> way of getting weird.